All right, this is second grade, module six, lesson three. And in this lesson, students are going to be using math drawings to represent equal groups. Plus, they're going to be using repeated addition to find that answer. Um, the idea really is going to be they're going to be using a particular shortcut. Uh, <laughs> this symbol <laughs> stands for, you know, is they're going to be grouping in terms of doubles. They're going to be making doubles to make that repeated addition go quickly. Uh, let's get started on that. So it says write a repeated addition equation to match the picture and then group the add-ins into pairs. So there's our doubles, right? So parents and teachers, um, you know, doubles is a really powerful tool to make addition go a little quicker. And so what we're going to do is first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at what we've got. So we've got, let's see, four squirrels, four squirrels, four squirrels, and four squirrels. So we have four groups of four. And at this point, we don't know what this answer is, so we're going to leave it blank. Or we can actually have our students count them if we wanted to, and that's perfectly fine. But then, what's a quick way of adding these four fours? Ultimately, we know it's going to be multiplication, but not in this module, not in, this, not in second grade. In third grade, it's going to be multiplication. But right now, it's the foundations, so we're going to, do, we're going to add in, uh, in pairs. So 4 plus 4 is 8, and then this 4 plus 4 equals 8. And again, we're going to leave this blank right now. Um, well, when actually, right now, we could add... Uh, oftentimes, parents and teachers, I like to just go even further and say, well, what's 8 and 8? And, oh, 8 and 8 is 16. So I like to continue uh, this pyramid kind of scheme. <laughs> uh, 4 plus, so I would say 4 plus 4 is 8. And then 4 plus 4 is 8. And we're going to add those two. And then I would say 8 plus 8 is 16. So... I'm really kind of creating this upside-down pyramid. I kind of like it that way. You could see that Eureka Math didn't do it that way. So we're now able to fill in our answer. 8 plus 8 is 16, so that means 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 16. And then down here, 4 groups of, so we've got 4 groups of 4 is equal to, and then here's the power of this, 2 groups of... 8. And both of those are equal to 16. So I'm going to put is equal to 16. So 4 groups of 4 is equal to 2 groups of 8, which is equal to 16. Just one more practice. The thing that I thought was interesting about this problem is that the formatting is our, our spaces for putting our answers um, don't no longer they no longer follow that pyramid scheme that un, that uh, they had just previously shown us on the previous slide. So I thought parents and teachers, what you might want to do is you might want to reformat this, and I'll show you what I would do in a well, no, let's do it right now. So what I would do is I would probably uh, erase all this and I would reformat it so that our blocks would go plus, plus, and then here's our plus, and then the uh, original thing had like that, right? So let's go back and let's start thinking about this. And so we say, well, here's a group of three cats, a group of three cats, a group of three, a group of three, and a group of three. So we see that we have five groups of three, and I'm going to leave this blank right now. Now here is where we get our pyramids, our pairs. So 3 plus 3 is, oops, yikes, 3 plus 3 is not 3. I don't know what I was thinking. 3 plus 3, let's erase that, 3 plus 3 is going to be 6. And then again, we've got 3 plus 3, and that equals 6. And then the idea is this 3 is left over, so I'm just going to write him down again. And then again, I can see, oh, hey, we've got a pair here. We've got doubles again. So let's do that. Let's make use of that. So I'm going to say 6 plus 6, that's 12. And again, our little 3 is still left out. 
over there. And at this point, we can say, oh, that answer is 15. And we can either put the, the answer there, or we could put the answer down here. It both makes sense. But now that we know that the answer is 15, we can go again, go ahead and put the answer up there, 15. And so if we wanted to, we could say five groups of three is 15. All right. Now, we do not need to do this because, of course, that is third grade, and this is just a foundational uh, unit for multiplication and division. So wh wh where does all of this lead? Well, as a middle school teacher for 20-some-odd years, um, oftentimes I would watch my little sixth graders, oh, they would do like, you know, they would do eight times seven, and they would get, they would struggle. And the idea is they would ha struggle getting that answer, right? So I want them to quickly be able to say, oh, that's seven plus seven plus seven plus seven plus seven, one, two, three, four, five, plus seven plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's my eight um, sevens, eight groups of seven. And I want my students to be able to say, oh, that's 7 and 7 is 14, 7 and 7 is 14. And then I want them to go further, 14 and 14 is 28, 14 and 14 is 28. And then I want them to add, oh, 28 plus 28, that's 56. Therefore, 8 times 7 is 56. So if they don't quite recall their fact, which of course by 6th grade I want them to know, but, you know, the reality is sometimes they don't that this adding in, in pairs, this doubles technique, is one of many techniques that I want my, my students to have in their toolkit uh, to get the answer if they don't know it off the top of their head. And that's really where this second grade module is leading. Uh, it's giving our students a series of tools that they could put in their tool belt um, for finding the answer to ultimately what's going to be multiplication problems. And that wraps up second grade module six, lesson three, using math drawings to represent equal groups and repeated addition.